Hello, Kevin. Good evening. How are you tonight? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Uh, I am good. And you? I'm excellent. Thanks for asking me. Also, welcome to the class. How was your day today, Kevin? Uh, yeah, fine, teacher. It was fine? Yes, I was fine. Did you have a lot of work today? Uh, a little. <laughs> oh, that is great. So you rest a little bit too. Hey, teacher, una pregunta. Bien, me este, eh, con respecto a eso, fíjese que yo ayer estaba viendo un comunicado de de Insafor, ¿verdad? Que estaban diciendo sobre, no sé si entendí bien o mal, pero como que ya no iban a dar cursos, entonces eso afecta aquí con los cursos de inglés o, mm -hmm. o en general con todos los cursos que dan. Well, probably yes, it is going to affect um, also this, right? This English first, but no yet. Um, I'm not pretty sure, but I guess that they have the they have a deal during a year or some months with this, but I don't have too much information about that, but this, that is the, the, the administrative part of this, English Corporativo, who is in charge of those topics. So in my case, I don't have too much information about that. Oh, okay. Good evening, teacher. Hi, hello, good evening, Aida. Welcome to the class. How are you tonight? How are you, Aida? How are you tonight? That's okay. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I am very good. Thanks for asking me. Are you ready for the last class tonight? Yes, I'm ready. Yeah? Okay. I will really miss you. Lo voy a extrañar a todos. I will really miss you. Hey, me too. Me too. Me too, teacher. Me too. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, well, um, so let's start for tonight's class. We're going to have a review of the final exam. Have you already finished your, your homework there on the platform? Did you finish section five and also the final exam? Today, teacher. Today. Yes? Teacher, el medio yes. error siempre, pero también en el último examen. Todas me salen mal. Yo creo que sí tengo. Y no me respondieron en la plataforma. Los de inglés corporativo. Yo les escribí, les mandé script y de, no me respondieron. Um, ok, I guess I can help you with that. So let's see what's wrong with your answer. Hello, Abel. Good evening. Welcome to the class. So let me see here. Porque eso me parecía raro, porque, o sea, yo estoy completamente segura que no todas me podían salir con error, por lo menos unas dos o tres, pero no todas me salen en esos dos últimos exámenes. Y en el otro, en el último también, todas están malas. Y los, aunque las cambiara de, de todas las formas que las pusiera, salen con error. Ok, so let's review this. Um, Kevin, María Magdalena, Abel, do you have some problem with the final exam answer? Or could you complete it? Yes, teacher. Uh, I completed uh, all the the final exam, but the 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 exercise four and five, uh, it's so difficult. Okay, but, let's uh, try it. So you say but, four and uh, five. Yeah. Is it this? Right, right in the sentence. Good evening. Hi, Abel. Good evening. How are you tonight? I'm fine. That is excellent. Uh, I don't know what I'm talking about this activity. Ah, we are I have a problem about... with this. Um... Come on, tell. Ah, okay. We are talking about um, some troubles, right? With the numbers mm -hmm. in the section number four and number five in the final exam. And we are going to check it right now. Did you have any problem, Abel? Yeah, I have a problem with the two exercises. But this is, oh. I don't know, this is a 
of the first second I don't remember this moment I want to I will check here okay guys so let's have a review of this example in the first part we have listening the instruction listen to the conversation click the correct information so did you complete the exercise without any problem did you have problem in this section too No. Not in, this, not in this one. Okay, if you haven't have any trouble in this, let's go with the second complete conversation. What about in this part? Did you complete this part without any problem? Who has doubt in this exercise? Oh, let's solve it. Then. Maybe we can help somebody here. Let's see, number one, have you to any good movies lately? And I have the verb B. What is the past participle of B? The answer was. What was the answer in this exercise? B. Okay, so it was B. Yes, I have already three PL this month. And the verb is B. What is the past participle of B? Is it to or sin? Sin. Okay, sin was the answer here. Now let's see. Uh, he ever eaten Thai food before? Then I need a has or have to complete this question. Has. Has. And in the next one, he has never in it in his life. Then I have have here. Uh, no, he has never had. Okay, nice. now let's go. This is a multiple option. I live in Boston for or sin. For. For. In the next one, my for. wife and I have gone to Costa Rica every year. Every year for 2001 or since 2001. Since. Since. Since Patrick has studied Portuguese a long time, he's a good speaker now. Do I need four or thing to complete four. the final? You say four, four. then four. click on send and okay, 20 points of 20 points. So now let's go with the next exercise. Did you have any problem in this one? No. No, okay. No, no, no. problem in this. What about in this other sentence? Rewrite and scramble these sentences. Put the word in the correct order to make sentences or questions. So we studied this yesterday. Christy is really gorgeous and she is in her 30s. That was the answer. Now, in the second one, problems in this section? Yes, me. Yes, oh, teacher. Okay. And, okay, we have wear, mouth touch, have sun, dust, glasses, and what was the answer here? Who remember? Who wants to help me answer in this? Anybody remember what is the answer here? Okay, let's try with this. Does um, have a mouse and wear glasses? It's a question, right? Then we're going to start with that. Does Sam have a mouse and wear glasses? And what about the next one? The red, thin, the height, long hat, and it's medium hair. The answer here was this. Cindy is medium high and it has long red hair. And in the last one, okay. who's the person sitting on the couch next to Jason? Let me see. Let's click on send. Let's see if it works. And those were the answers in this part. So as this is a question, we start with the auxiliary. In this simple present, we use do or does. In this case, we're talking about son, which is he. Does he or does son have a mustache? 
and wear glasses. That was the answer. And in the next one, Cindy is medium height and has long red hair. That is the answer in this part. In the final part, who's the person sitting on the coach next to Jason? Uh, it was a little bit difficult, right? It was a little bit tricky, but you did it, and that is great. So anybody, any other section? Do you have problems in any other section? Or just in this one? Yes, teacher. Which other section do you have problems with? Number five or letter E? What about in this reading? Do you have any question here? ¿Alguien tuvo problemas en la sección E del examen? Nobody? Yo sí, teacher. Ah, okay. The, okay. The, the section four, the section five. Eh, todas eh, me salen malas, todas, o sea, les cambie, le ponga, le dejo, le, le dejo, todas me salen mal. O sea, en esta sección podemos probar si queremos en todas, en esta última, ¿verdad? Y se las puse y todas dieron error. O sea, todas salían marcadas en, con error. Ok, let's try it. And say, hi, Nina, guess what? I moved into my new apartment yesterday. I really like my new roommate. I also like the neighborhood. There are a lot of different restaurants here. Last Hi. night, I ate at a Vietnamese restaurant just around the corner. The food was delicious, and I want to try new Brazilian restaurant near here. For breakfast this morning, I came to this great coffee oh, shop across from my apartment. Actually, it's an internet cafe, so I'm emailing you now. It's a really convenient neighborhood. There's a landmark on the street, and there are some interesting stores, too. One store sells lots of amazing CDs, DVDs, and books from all over the world. And my roommate told me there's a dance club just two blocks away. I want to go dancing every weekend. Come and visit Sara. Now let's see. Sara can. What can Sara do in this see? neighborhood? And Sara can go dancing. Okay. Yes. Which other activity? Uh, go shopping. Go shopping. Send email. Send email because there is an internet cafe near yeah. your house. Yeah. Watch and dry classes. Uh, which one? Oh, watch and dry clothes. Watch and dry classes. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, read book. No, Eat Venezuelan food. Exercise no. Arayin. Get a haircut. No. no. May travel arrangement. No. See movies. No. Okay, let's click on 10. And those were the correct answers. So it is boring. Can you see Aida? Yes. This is the selection. Yo seleccioné esas cuatro, esas cuatro dan error. A mí me dan error. Oh, really? Yes. Yo, yo capturé la pantalla, de hecho, así las tengo, y la pantalla está capturada y está con error. O sea, todas aparecen en rojo. Pero lo curioso es que es esta sección y la anterior. Okay. Anybody has this problem? Or just ahí. Let me take note then. Yo sí, Hello, Imelda. ¿También tiene el mismo problema en el examen final? Sí, teacher. Bye. Ok, let me take note de uh, Ida Martínez en Imelda Xiomara Pimentel. Okay, let me write right to the support and uh, let know what they say about this. 
<clears throat> okay, thank you so much then for your doubts here and I'm gonna send you information and maybe we can help you to fix this this mistake, right? Ah, uh, intentaron de su teléfono o de su laptop? On your smartphone or your laptop? Or computer? The computer and in mobile. And both of them? Mm. Okay, great. Um, okay, so let me start with this. Um, after solving these exercises, let's continue with the class. And for tonight, we have our last class, right? We are going to finish this course tonight. So let's go with this. Okay. Okay, this is the final course review, right? And this is your class 16. Congratulations, you did it, right? So the, tonight we have our last class. And let's start with this. In this class, we are going to discuss the following topic. In this session, we will work on pronunciation in order to sound natural when linking final T and the sounds inverse with the vowels that follow. So in English, we use two link words. When it ends in T and D, we can link with the next sound, right? If it is a vowel, podemos unir los sonidos, ¿verdad? De T y D con la vocal siguiente, ¿verdad? De la siguiente palabra, si inicia con una vocal. So that is the topic for tonight. But before to go to this, uh, let's have a review about four and things that was just a big topic. Can you tell me to complete the sentences using four or thin? And remember the expression, right? So the expression that we use with four are the following. Two weeks, a few months, several years, a long time. And expression we use with things is a six a 45, which is an a specific hour, last weekend, 1997, in elementary school. And... Let's start then. Number one, it says Pan was in Central America a month last year. Do I need things or do I need four to complete number one? Which word do I need to complete sentence one? Pan was in Central America a month last year. Things or four? Anyone four t-shirts. Uh, yes, you are right. Can you please read the sentence, Kevin? Pan was... Pan was in Central America for a month last year. Thank you, that is excellent. And number two, I have been a college student almost for four years. Is it four or thin? It's four again, teacher. Yes, you're right. I have been a college student for almost four years. Thank you. Let's go with number three. Hiroshi has been at work six o'clock a.m. Do I need four or seen to complete this? Seen teacher. Yes, you're right, things. And Hiroshi has been at work since 6 a.m. Thank you. Number four, I haven't gone to a party a long time. That is the expression for or things to complete the sentence. Number four. Four to share. Four to for a long time. Thank you. And number five, you just live in Venezuela two years as a kid. Anyone? Four, Number five. Four, four teacher. Four, yes, four is the right answer. Thank you. A number six, my parents have been on vacation Monday. Sign? Things. 
things is the right answer here. Thank you, Kevin. My parents have been on vacation since Monday. Natalie was engaged to Danny. And I have six months. Four? Four. Four, six months, yes. Pat and Valeria have been best friends high school. Things. Yes, things is the word that I need to complete this sentence. Thank you so much. Uh, I can see that you remember very well how to use uh, for and things. And I have, I have a couple of questions for you. How long have you had your current hairstyle? How long have you had your current hairstyle? And I'm going to pick somebody here to ask this question. And let's start with Aida Marisol. How long have you had your current hairstyle? How long have you had your current hairstyle? ¿Por cuánto tiempo tenías? How long? Por, ha tenido su mismo, su mismo estilo de cabello, mm. su mismo peinado. Mm. Then you remember, then you can say for several, for several months, for several years. I if you don't remember the exact number of months or years or days. You can use a several, and you say, I have had my current hairstyle for a several months. My hair, hairstyle. Um, 20 years? For 20 years? For 20 oh. years? Complete sentence. I have had. I have had my my current hairstyle, hairstyle. Current hairstyle for twenty years. For twenty twenty years. Okay, excellent. And what about you, Jose Daniel? Uh, how long have you had your current hairstyle? Hello, Jose. Are you there? How yeah. long? Uh, I have so, had I have had my current hairstyle okay I have had I have had my current hairstyle uh, uh, se está refiriendo Periodo de tiempo. For or thing. Okay. Sería for two weeks. For two weeks? Really? Ah, okay. You have recently changed your hairstyle. That is great. Let's go with the next one. How long have you studied at this school? How long have you studied at Inglés Corporativo? How long have you studied at Inglés Corporativo? Uh -huh. I have two years. I for have, two years. Oh, for two years. That is excellent. I have studied at English Corporativo for two years. Thank you. How long have you known your best friend? Maria Martinez, how long have you known your best friend? Desde hace cuánto conoces tu mejor amigo? Hello, teacher. Hello, playmate. I know my best friend is 26 years. Oh, really? That is a lot of time to say. I have known my best friend for 26 years. Excellent. 26 años de amistad. That is great. Cuántos secretos guardados en esa amistad. Now let's see the last one. How long have you been? Oh, How long have you been? <laughs> a lot. A lot, dice María. How long have you been away today? How long have you been away today? ¿Por cuánto tiempo he estado despierto este día? 
and you say 14 hours for 12 hours teacher for 12 hours <laughs> for 12 hours Okay, uh, thank you so much for your answer for your help in this. Now, for in review. Now, let's go with this the part of pronunciation. And in this part, we have little sound. Listening practice the final T, and the sound in birds are linked to the vowels that follow them. Um, let's see, when the verb ends in the sound T or D, we can link with the vowel with the next word start. Let's see, for example, this I have the pronoun it at the end and I have the verb cook and I have tried and eat. Right? Entonces, ese sonido de verdad del final de cook puedo unirlo ¿verdad? Con, el, con la vocal y con la que comienza la siguiente palabra. And the next example is tried. Termina en el sonido de verdad. Entonces puedo unirlo con la I de la siguiente palabra, con la vocal de la siguiente palabra. So let's listen this example. Yes. Why not? And the sounds in verbs are linked to the vowels that follow them. Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I've already cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Okay, did you listen how they link the word, the sound there? Let's listen again. Listen the pronunciation. Listen and practice. Find out. And D sounds in verbs are linked to the vowels that follow them. Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I've already cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Okay, now I need to volunteer to practice this pronunciation. Linking sounds, so we have cooked it, cooked it, and tried it. Yes, I tried it once in Miami. To volunteer to practice. Thank you, Jose Daniel and Kevin. Kevin, you are A. Jose Daniel, you are B. Okay, teacher. Uh, have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I have already cooked. Cook it. Cook it. Cook it. Cook it. Cook it. Cooked it. Cooked it. Cooked it. Uh, okay. No es, no es cooked. Could it, teacher? Y yes, but we are talking that we can link, right? Podemos eh, unir, ¿verdad? El sonido del final ah, de cook ah, con el it. Entonces, de cook it. Ah, ah, ok, ok. Uh, have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Excellent. Now let's listen Aida and Maria Martinez. Aida, you are A. Maria, you are B. Okay. Have you cooked lunch? Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I. I. Yes, perdón, no veo. I already cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I. I tried it on in my jammy. Okay, excellent. That was excellent. Thank you. Just, um, you didn't uh, link the sound, right? And the answer is yes, I have already cooked it. Yes, I tried it once in my jam. So we can link the sound. Do you have any question regarding this part? I have already cooked it. Yes, I tried it once in Miami. So let's see the next example here. Try to pronounce correctly the final sound T or the link with the other. Follow the example. Have you ever cut your hair? So look at this example and listen. Follow the example. Have you ever cut your hair? Yes, I've cut it. No, I haven't cut it. Uh, again, right in this answer, we have the verb cut. 
and we have the pronoun it. So we can link the final T sounds of the verb could with the initial vowel sound it. I, sorry, and the word it. So listen again. Follow the example. Have you ever cut your hair? Yes, I've cut it. No, I haven't cut it. Okay, it sounds like an R, right? Cut it. And yes, I have cut it. No, I haven't cut it. So let's see the following. Have you ever taste gold teeth? And I have the answer. No, I haven't tasted it. No, I haven't tasted it. No, I haven't tasted it. Unimos los dos sonidos. No, I haven't tasted it. And let's see the next example here. Have you ever tried Korean food? Yes, I have already tried it. Have you ever tried Korean food? Yes, I have already tried it. And the next one, have you ever watched Harry Potter movies? No, I haven't watched. What is the final sound of this verb? Watch. En pasado. Es con D o con T. D sound or T sound. Ver watch in simple past. Is it with D or T sound? Será watch deep or watch deep? What do you think is the right pronunciation of this? No, I haven't watched deep. No, I haven't watched deep. No, I haven't watched with D. With what? this, with this sound, it? the final sound is D. The final sound is T in this case. So it says, "No, I haven't watched it. Watch it. Watch." Okay, nice. And I have another example here for you. Have you brought your dictionary today? No, I haven't brought it. No, I haven't brought it. Have you read the latest Harry Potter book? You say, yes, I have read it. Yes, I have read it. Okay, so we link the final sound of the verb with the initial vowel sound of the next word. So let's practice in this. So I'm going to practice these three examples. Then I'm going to choose Abel. Thank you, Abel. Eh, Maria Magdalena, can you tell me, please? Maria, the yeah. answers and Abel, the question. Okay. Uh, have you ever tasted cow cheese? No, I haven't tasted. Have you ever tried Korean food? Yes, I have. Already tried. Have you ever watched Harry Potter movies? No, I haven't watched. Okay, excellent. Another tool I need to practice in this. Have you brought your dictionary today? No, I haven't brought it. Have you read the latest Harry Potter book? Yes, I have read it. Thank you, Abel. Thank you, Maria Magdalena, for your participation in the last sentences. Now let's listen, Kevin and Ana Gabriela. Can you please? Ana, the question, Kevin, the okay. answers. Uh, okay. Have you brought your dictionary today? No, I haven't brought it. Okay. Have you read the last Harry Potter book yet? Yes. I have read it. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. Very good pronunciation. Just the word latest. Have you read the latest? Have you read the latest Harry Potter? Okay. Have you read the latest Harry Potter book yet? Yes, I have read it. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much for your help, um, Kevin and Ana Gabriela. So let's remember this, right? What does it look like? In the final exam, you have some exercise regarding to this part, right? Do you remember how to describe people? So look at these girls. And can you tell me some sentences to describe her? What does it look like is the question. Physical appearance. What does it look like? 
Yeah, mission sentence, yes? To describe this girl. Do, do you remember the adjectives that we use? She has curly hair. Okay, excellent sentence. Yes, he has curly hair. Thank you. Any other sentence? She has um, medium, medium height. She has curly hair was the first sentence. And the next one you say, he, he is medium, medium height, is medium height. Any other sentence? I have two. I need eight sentences at least. So tell me, general adjective, beautiful, cute, ugly, small, but sorry, short, I mean short, tall. Yes. She's beautiful or she sings? She is beautiful, excellent. She's beautiful. And also she is, she is thin. That's nice. We have just completed 50%. I need another four sentences. At least another four sentences. She has curly hair, she has medium height. She is uh, bright, bright skin. She is brown? Bright skin. No, bright. Bright. This Bright. No, uh, w R I T E. She is right. Yes, skin. She is right skin. Mm. Is it that color of skin? This is right. I guess, teacher. Oh, uh, right is the verb escribir. Probably you want to say white. W H I T E. Ah, I'm sorry, right. <laughs> white, okay, no problem. She is white in, yeah, in. Very good sentence. Any other sentence? I need three more. Red, do you remember this? She is wearing, we also can use get on, right, to describe somebody. So she's wearing, she is wearing, ella está utilizando. Sunglasses. Uh, sunglasses? Yes. Uh, that is the right sentence, sunglasses. He is wearing sunglasses. But I can see the sunglasses on her, but it's okay. The sentence is okay. I need another two. She is wearing. She has or she is. She is wearing black shoes. She is wearing black shoes. Black shoes. Oh, he is wearing black shoes. Okay, black shoes. shoes. Black shoes. Yes, shoes. He is wearing black shoes. Okay, nice. Uh, one more. Just one more. The last one. She has curly hair. She's medium height. She's beautiful. She's thin. She's white thin. She's wearing sunglasses, she's wearing black shoes. And the last one is. Tell me what is the last sentence? Tell me another one, just one more. What about the size of her hair? He has long or short hair. Medium. He has short. 
brown hair. She has a short hair. Okay, excellent thing. She has okay. short hair. As you can see, we have complete a hair description. She has curly hair, she's medium height, she's beautiful, she's thin, she is white skin, she, she is white skin, is that correct? We can use has here, right? She has white skin, she is wearing sunglasses, she, she is wearing, oh, and it was missing here. Oh, sorry, she is wearing black shoes and she has short hair. So let's move to the next one. Let's erase all of these sentences and let's go to the next picture. Okay, now I'm gonna choose somebody to tell me some sentences. And let's start with Maria Magdalena. Can you tell me a sentence describing this man, please? Yes, he's wearing um, yellow pants. Oh, thank you. She's wearing yellow pants. Ten good sentence. Then let's choose Kevin. Tell me a sentence describing this man. Uh, he has a, a mustache. Yes, that is a right sentence. Thing. Then let's go with uh, Abel. Can you tell me a sentence describing this man, please? She has um, a mustache and beard. Yes, excellent sentence. Thanks. Then let's go with Aida. Can you tell me a sentence describing this man? He's a tall. She or he? He is a tall. He is a tall. Okay, sin la. He is. Tall. Okay, he's tall. Yes, excellent. Now he is tall. A very good sentence. Uh, let's choose Ana Gabriela. Can you tell me a sentence describing this man? Every teacher is the he is he has a uh, black uh, shoes and wearing a, a, a clothes. Mm, okay, he is wearing, sería la oración, he is wearing black shoes. He is wearing black shoes and. And you so wearing a cloak, pelos. Oh, cloak. Okay, in this case, we have two types of relojes, right? In Spanish, tenemos dos, reloj de pared y reloj de pulsera. And in English, clock is el que va en la pared. Y el que llevamos acá en Norwich, en nuestra muñeca, is watch. So he is wearing okay. a watch. Thank you. So he is wearing black shoes. He is wearing a watch. Thank you, Jose Daniel. Send me a sentence describing this man. Uh, he is tall. Thank you. He is tall. He is tall. Nice. No, all. Nice. All. 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 He is all. Yes, you are right. He is all. Okay, now let's complete this. Uh, also, we have an exercise there with four and six. In a hurry, let's, I'm going to choose somebody. Let's start with Maria Martinez. Number one, I haven't seen my egg. Four or seen to complete this sentence. Um, la number one, ¿verdad? Yeah. I haven't sent my ex signs two thousand ten. Excellent. I haven't seen my ex things two thousand ten. Thank you. Let's see number two is for Jose Daniel. I haven't finished yet. Excellent. I haven't finished yet. Number three, please, Maria Magdalena. 
I have been here for 10 years. Four is the regular thing. Let's choose Aida in the next one. Number four, I have painted my house. Is it yet for the thing or already? Aida? Your microphone. Ahí da your microphone. I'm sorry, on. teacher. Sorry, no podía quitarle el mute. Okay. I have really paint my house. And let me see. Already. Really? Yes, already ready. Ready the work. Ah, ya les di copia de la siguiente. I Sorry. have had to say since 2015. Hey, number six, Kevin. I have been waiting my wife for a long time. And then last one, number seven, I haven't run so that three months. Any volunteer? For excellent, thank you. For three months, I haven't run soda for three months. Okay, now let's see. Aida, choose one of your classmates. Cajon de sus compañeros, please. Who do you want to participate? Aida, tell me the name. Um, Jose Daniel. Jose Daniel. Jose, can you please read the seven sentences? Okay, I haven't seen my my ex since twenty ten. I haven't finished yet. I have been here for ten years. I have already painted my house. I have had the same smartphone since uh, twenty. Uh, se me olvidó como dice kids. 15? 15 ever. 15, eh? Yo 15, ¿no? 15. Eh, I have been waiting my wife for a long time. I haven't run soda for three months. Okay, excellent, Jose. Okay, now pay revenge if you want. Choose one of your classmates. Sorry, teacher. Choose one of your classmates, please. Okay. Uh, Imelda. Okay, Imelda Zumara, can you listen to that? Hello, Imelda. Good evening. Are you there? Hi, Imelda. Okay, it seems that she is busy now. Just another one, Jose, please. Maria Magdalena. Maria Magdalena, okay, thanks. Maria, can you help us reading these sentences, please? Yes, of course. First, I haven't seen my ex since 2010. I haven't finished yet. I have been here for 10 years. I have already painted my house. I have had the same smartphone since 2015. I have been waiting my wife for a long time and I haven't turned soda for three months. Excellent, thank you. Okay, now let's see. Um, this is almost the last exercise for tonight and just the prompt to my sentence in present perfect. So I have this example here. So they play football and I have the sentence, they have played football. Is that correct? Yes, it is or no, it isn't. Is the sentence correct? Yeah, it's correct. Yes, it is correct. Thanks. They have played football. Let's do the next one. He is speak English. 
he has spoken English since he was a child. Is this sentence correct? He has a... Yeah. Now let's know the example. I have written a poem. And the other one, we haven't washed the car for two months. And the last one, Nancy hasn't met her friend. And I have this front here. Now uh, you are going to solve the next exercise here. I have the next front and you have to tell me sentences using the present perfect. I have they finished their homework. Can you tell me a sentence in present perfect using this word, please? Let's see who is the first one. They have finished their homework. Okay, thank you. The second one, she visited her friend. Who wants to tell me the sentence there? Okay. She has busy her friends. Excellent. And then number three, they may clean the house. Tell me the sentence using the present perfect. May has cleaned the house. Excellent. And number four, he drive the van. He drive the van. Excellent. And the last one, you ever write a poem? If I want to ask a question. Si quiero hacer una pregunta con las últimas palabras, you ever write a poem? Have you ever write a poem? Almost perfect. Almost perfect. Have you, have you ever, ever written? Writing? Sorry. Okay, have you ever written a poem? Thank you. Thank you so much. So here are the examples. Look at them. Um, they have already finished their homework. She has visited the friend three times this week. They may clean the house. He has driven the van. And you have never written a poem. Okay, now this is the final activity for tonight. Reading, I need the three volunteers to read this. This email. Just three volunteers, who wants to start? This is our last activity for this English course. So who wants, who wants to practice? The last practice. Me, teacher. Thank you, Aida. Let's do it. Hi, Nina. Huh? Let's start reading this. Hi, Nina. Guess what? I moved into my new apartment yesterday. I really like my new roommate. I also like the neighborhood. There are lots of different restaurants here. Last night, I ate at Viet... No sé cómo se pronuncia. Vietnam restaurant. Vietnam restaurant. Yeah, just around the corner. The food was delicious. And I want to try a new Brazilian restaurant near her. For breakfast this morning, I came to this great coffee shop across from my apartment. Actually, it's an internet Coffee so um email you now. It's a really convenient neighborhood. There is a laundromat on our street and there are some interesting stores. Two one store sell is lost 
of amazing series, DVDs, and books from all over the world. And my roommate told me there, a dancing club just to block a weight. I want to go dancing every week. Come visit, Sarah. Thank you, Aida. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your help, your participation during this exercise and during all the course. Thank you so much. So the last one, just one, and we are done. Hey, one. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. Hi, Nina. Guess what? I moved into my new apartment yesterday. I really like the new room. I also like the neighborhood. There are a lot of different restaurants here. Last night, I ate a Vietnamese restaurant just around the corner. The food was delicious, and I want to try a new Brazilian restaurant near here. For breakfast this morning, I came to this great coffee shop across from my apartment. Actually, it's an internet internet coffee, so I, Smiling, you know. It's a really convenient neighborhood. There's a laundromat and our street, and there are some interesting stores too. One store sells a lot of amazing CDs, DVDs, and books from all over the world. And my roommate uh, told me there's a dance club just two blocks away. I want to go with dancing every weekend. Come visit, Sarah. Excellent. Thank you so much, uh, Jose Daniel. And thanks again for your participation and your attention during all the class that we have had during all this night. Uh, thank you so much. So let's see, right? It's time to say goodbye. And it has been a really, it has been really nice to be with you, right, in every class. So I try to give you the chance to participate and to practice in every class. In some classes, you say, yes, I want to participate. And some you say, no, today, no, I don't want to participate. I'm so tired, right? But I, I motivate you, right, to participate during your classes because that helps you a lot to improve, right? Remember that English is a matter of practice, right? And as much as you practice, as much better you are going to become in this language. Uh, as I said before, I really appreciate uh, every participation and in, in your attendance to these classes. And I will really miss you. So I wish the best for every one of you. Thank you so much again. Uh, do you have something to say? Any comment? Teacher, o sea que this is the last week. Yes, it is. Uh, it, this was our last class tonight. Okay. Any comment? Thank you, teacher. Nice to meet you. you. I glad for I glad for meet you. It oh. was a great Thank class. You. Thank you. You're Thank you, welcome. Teacher. Thank you, teacher. Yes, thank you, teacher and my friends. In this case, this is a pleasure to uh, interact with, you with the learning English. And this is we learn some more English. And uh, this is the first is practice. Anybody? Uh, thank you, teacher, for the all class uh all the exercise for for me you and this is a great moment for everybody and i bless you in your in your uh, majors and in your life uh thank you so much kevin for for your work uh, it has been a pleasure to meet you, right? And if I see you around, say hello, right? Si los veo por la calle, or that I recognize, ah, that, that, is the, that is the teacher, so say hello, right? It is going to be really nice to meet the son of you guys on the street. So 
So thank you so much. And I really um, wish the best for you, right? Continue studying, continue practicing. And it has been a pleasure. Bye bye. Enjoy the weekend and continue studying English. Bye bye, teacher. Great thank language. You. Bye bye. Thank guys. you, teacher. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Uh, nice Good night. Nice. Thanks.